we're here again. We're back. We're back. What are we doing? We're still going. Still doing that. But I'm just explain why we do this. It's just—it's not edited. It's just all this video that I took while I was doing this shit. Just all bundled together, one after the other. Nothing's cut out. Nothing's. You know, there's some little doodads here and there that says this and that, and we just chuck in there. But most of it's all just done, just to document. Like it says in the intro, what we potentially fucked up. So, this one covers, covers that, covers some stuff like that, you know, like, if we die, scientists in the future will know what happened. It's important, it's important to know, you know, we can, we, we, we might watch this video and just realize, oh, shit, that, 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 that. we don't care about that though, we just, we, yeah. Another thing actually, because now I made all these videos and it's just fucking shit, but we've just been doing it, we're just churning them out. There's, there's lots of Easter eggs for people to find. They're not mistakes, they're Easter eggs. Put them in the purpose. So you can find them, yeah. make a comment, make a comment. You can hit the little button and, and this button, you put one there. There, or somewhere. Yeah, you put the button there, do that. Click on that, and then the series is like here, somewhere. Do that stuff. Huh? Let's roll with it. Again, uh, we had a little dick in the as you can see. This took like 17,000 freaking tools to get this thing back together. Wasn't many problems, really. It's just this split pin, which is a bit shit. And it's gonna replace it, but the ones I had, just not quite the right size, so they just didn't feel like they were gonna sit at the top there. But as it is, this one was a bit rooted, and let me tell you, that just, you know, Prize it, hit it, do, 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 yeah. I mean, there was no brute force in there, the moldies and this and that, but it was just a bit more Happy Gilmore style, just, you know, tap it in, but it took some wiggle and a jiggle, and I don't want to twist and be out of a line, but I think that's good enough now. That's all well with that. So, talk on that. We did her up to 90, which was good. That was fine, and then I just got the breaker bar on there and just I couldn't get it in even a quarter turn so that was that's good we roll with that this one was just to jack the wheel up so I could really reef on it and this one was just a happy Gilmore and, you know this one and this one and we got them you know we went looking for them for ages down the other shed because we bought our tools like this so I the whole time yeah and this one and, and these ones like these ones are just great you just should just be able to put that in there and go no, no, that doesn't work like that. Um, so that's all done, that's good. And we had a bit of a ponder on what we've got coming for us in the future just with this radiator flush. Because, you know, I set the young fella up out here before and just, yeah, not interested at the moment. So we've got this set up. I bought this expensive tool to um, flush the radiator with, you know, like they're 50 bucks at the shop. 
that's just going to work perfectly. So we'll just reverse flush on that just to help her out since it's out anyway. We've got this expensive plug that we put in there. It was funny, like, right, so, oh, what can I plug this with? We were like, <laughs> had this little, yeah, I'll show it when I pull it out, maybe. It's a um, little piece out of the nozzle, the RTV stuff, that had dried up in there. It's just like a perfect little plug, so just a bit of duct tape holder in there, nice and snug. And we we're nearly going to make a praise video to Haynes, because we we're looking at how they recommend to flush this cooling system out, so I don't have to dick around any more than I have to. And then what did I end up doing? Dicking around. So anyway, we had a look in the book here, and this little note here says, touch a length of tubing to the spigot on the engine block drain, and then loosen the drain bolt and allow the block to drain. I thought, oh, that's, that's handy. That's really handy. Except we dicked around, we looked around, and she's not there. Or... Yeah, I don't call no one liars or nothing like that, you know. But it's not there. And I just, I don't, I can't make out the picture really honestly anyway, but to me that looked like the heater hose is going to the block and that's not how my heater hoses look and that's not there anywhere. And I don't know, so I'm just going to pull the thermostat out. So that'll just flush all through there. I'll probably disconnect those hoses, like I said before, and in there with the hose. And that's, uh, that's us, but I think for now, I'll jack up the back, because I'm going to fill this tranny up with oil. And, uh, look, I'm not going to dig around, actually, fucking around with the back. It doesn't sit on that much of an angle, so that's what, you know, I'm guessing in an ideal world it should be flat, but... You just gotta, that's the drain hole there, so you can't see because it's a bit dark, but it's there. And there's the, the check tube there, or the fuel tube. In all honesty, I think that in our situation, I think this little, got this moved around again. This has got like some frequent fly miles on it, this. It moves around everywhere. I saw this and I just think fuel plug, but. I don't pull that out and have some fucking bit fall in the fucking gearbox and just be wrong there. So I already took a wrong bolt out somewhere down in the side of the tranny there when I was trying to take the drain plug out and I was kind of took it out a little bit and thought there's no oil coming out of there and I went, oh shit, there's the drain plug and we did it back up and we had a look around, we had a look at the breakdown of the gearbox and stuff and all it turns out it is is um yeah. Spend 45 minutes out of every hour looking for fucking shit, so it's just life. Yeah, that one there. Because, you know, that was... Not, it, I guess it was all covered in grease and all and shit before. Give us a break. Um, and I thought, oh, yeah, that's the drain plug there. And I backed that off. I didn't pull it all the way out, but... Yeah, I'm back to the... Yeah, what am I... Looked at what it actually is in there. As best as I can figure out, it says magnet, so... Hopefully we only loosened it and then tightened it back up again. Didn't hear anything move or drop or anything. So there wasn't any rattles when I was pulling it out and moving it around. So it's probably just magnetised itself to something. Oh, that's aluminium in there. So if I can, I don't know. Yeah, but I just thought I'd document that just in case um, fucking bits of gearbox fly out and kill me or some shit like that. You just scientists in the future will know what happened um, yeah back to this so that'll come out it's just two bolts tunk tunk juice everywhere right, yeah, it's just you know, needs to be done though but we'll get as much buttoned up as we can because we need to run it when we flush it anyway so with that out, that'll just free up, just to flush everything. And then we take that out. I might try and stick something there to catch everything. I'll do some of these up. Just off the back again, the expansions and all that stuff. Like I said before, I left all this stuff in there because it's just there where it needs to be. Bump my arms or anything. 
not in any protruding sort of spots, so that's good. Uh, I want to get that out of the way too, I really, before I start messing with this. So get that in there so I can make shit on that too. Why not? Why not? That's how we roll. I don't have to get that garbage can here. That's another thing in the shed, so. So wheel nuts on, drive axles in, let's juice her up, and it's time to come to our life decisions and keep going again, I guess. Clean up some of these tools that we used. But yeah, we're getting there. We might not have it done today, but at least we won't have much to do Monday, Tuesday to roll her out of here. And she'll roll out now anyway, I've just got to put the wheels on and we can just push her out, so. That's the main crisis avoided. I might take that out now too. That can go. You'll be okay. But yeah, that drain, drain hole thing. I kind of looked down in here where you can't see. There's nothing really on the side of the block. I swear I actually saw it. I thought I saw it. While I was doing stuff, I thought, oh, I wonder what that is. But So, I mean, it could be in there. It might be down in there behind the starter motor where I buttoned shit up already and just can't find it. And this was one of them jobs that I probably could have done before I put the drive shafts in and all that crap. But yeah, we'll find out one day. It's probably just on the 1.6 or something. I don't know. End rant, I guess. Let's keep working. Thanks, Nathan. You um, left that like that. But, uh, clean up your tools. It's only a low trans fluid, but I was on the base last time, so it's clean oil, that's fine. Yeah, that's what's going to shit on it. Just pump that out and I think uh, we will just put a bit of that oil in there, shake it out, pump it out, shake it up, pump it out, and then that's, that's how it goes. 